It's raining outside, so if you can hear that, enjoy it. Hello, hello. This is my first favorites video. Um, yeah, I wanted to start doing them because since I don't really get out much anymore, or at least currently until I get my power chair, um, I thought it might be a nice way to document the things that I've enjoyed every month. So let's start. First up is my Baymax Next Pillow. What? I said next because his name is Baymax. <laughs> the neck pillow. <laughs> Since receiving this, I have not stopped using it. I'm usually in bed because I have um, really terrible back pain and without uh, my wheelchair at the moment, my walking limits are very little, so mostly bed bound. Um, and I do have a bed desk, but this has helped me so much. At first the appeal was that it was Baymax. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. I was alerted to the need for medical attention when you said, ow. And he is adorable. And it looks like this. these are his arms and he's hugging you around the neck. It's so cute. Um, and then, like, his head, it's just a, a beautiful thing all around. Whether you think about it metaphorically or just logistically, right, his head is supporting your neck and it just makes, you know, typing on my bed desk all the easier. Um, and anything that makes things even a little easier, um, I'm very grateful for. This is really great. Next I have something really cool to show you. Does anybody recognize this person? on this accessibility symbol. Da, 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 da. This is amazing! Okay, let's try it on. Yay! Oh, it's so perfect! Yes! All right, so this is the Annie Eleni wheelchair mermaid shirt. In case you did not know, recently the accessibility symbol has been updated from this to this. <laughs> and inspired by the update, Mike Mort has designed these incredible uh, t-shirts, designs. He made a bunch of different things on his website um, depicting different characters as the updated accessibility symbol. This one is actually based off of one of my Halloween costumes last year. Um, I will show that to you here. <laughs> um, and it was actually my first Halloween as a wheelchair user, so that's pretty big deal. I'm in love with this. I love it so much and I feel so represented like it's it's a Latinx mermaid and a wheelchair user. Huh? I'm on a shirt y'all. <laughs> Mike Moore also has several other really cool designs like Doctor Who and Captain America, Wonder Woman, Deadpool, Star Trek characters, etc. Like, so many. All reppin' accessibility. So, <laughs> if you want to support a disabled artist and wear your support and advocacy for universal accessibility all while wearing one of your favorite characters, or not necessarily wearing because there's like mugs and phone cases and prints and a bunch of other cool stuff, I will leave a link to his store in the description below. I actually have another shirt to share with you. Ready? And yay! This is actually another pretty decent sit-down shirt. And it's Hamilton! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and I think that my love for that is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, my mom got it for me off of Amazon, if you're curious. Um, the Baymax was also on Amazon. If, if something's not from Amazon, I'll tell you. Most things that I got are from my birthday um, and from Amazon. And I don't know, I, I will leave the names for them uh, in the description, so in case you want to look them up. This is great! And it's comfy. <laughs> I was going to change, but I'll just leave this on for now. Um, Alright. Next we have Riot Cake Pins. 
this past month, I also won a giveaway at Rye Cakes. Yay! Um, Rye Cakes also sent me this beautiful portrait of myself. Yes. Uh, based off of my profile picture. Ta -da. I love this. Um, and then I also got a bunch of cool pins. First in the bunch is this awesome pride brooch. Rainbow pride. Loving that. Then I got a ton of really cool buttons. Support your sisters, not just your sisters. They then theirs. What's that one? Pro-choice sloth. More pride buttons. What's this say? Genitals do not equal gender. Uh, my body, my choice. Not asking for it. Fear this queer. I use that um, reclaimingly. Um, I believe that's the gender queer pride or gender fluid pride rainbow. Um, and if you're interested in getting any of this uh, or checking out Riot Cakes art and store, uh, here is Riot Cakes card. Yay! Ooh, and another birthday present I got this month is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, disabled pin. I don't know if it's in focus. Are you in focus? There you go. Um, I love this. And I just put it in the box so you know where it's from. This is um, Normal Land. Um, so check them out. That's the info there. Alright, I'm going to change back into my shirt because I didn't want to sweat in <laughs> the other one. Alright, and now for a section I would like to call my September favorites non-tangibles. <laughs> Meaning, I don't have it right here in my hands. Um, and my non-tangibles this month would be, like everybody else, Stranger Things was amazing. Um, I'm also into American Horror Story this season. I love American Horror Story always. Um, problematic faves. Horror in general is problematic, but I love horror. My brother and I, we watch New Girl together, and uh, I've been watching Pretty Little Liar since it came out, but now with the last season starting, I kind of convinced my brother to watch it along with me, and I wanted to take notes and try and figure out family trees, timelines, and figure out this mystery before the final season comes out. So I'm doing that. Um, also, if you haven't watched Bo Burnham's Make Happy on Netflix, you probably should do that, because it is the most beautiful uh, swan song. It's pretty much a swan song. Um, and I can't stop listening to it. Uh, it, it appears to be an unannounced farewell tour um, because he's implied and said that he's taking some time off from performing uh, and also implied that it is for uh, mental health reasons. So I wish him all the best uh, and I thought that some of the songs he wrote in that show we're pretty incredible. All right, and that's it. <laughs> but this is fun. I really think that this might help, you know, keep track of the things that I enjoy while stuck in my Rapunzel Tower. Uh, yay. So let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite things that happened in September uh, that you enjoyed. Some tangible stuff, some non-tangible stuff, and I will see you eventually. Bye!